everyone, it's Girl in Minecraft, and today I am doing a little bit of a current household. I don't know if I showed you guys this household before, but um, it is actually my perfect genetics that I played on my own. I'm I've already re reached generation ten, but um, d I'm continuing it because I love this family so much, and so right now I'm basically on a houseboat with my generation 10 family or actually yeah I mean this is generation 10 heir Belinda she's my 10th generation and basically I'm continuing so she has already had her heir which is Tara here and that is generation 11 so I'm like just I'm just continuing because it's fun and I want to see how long I can play you know <laughs> I mean I could go forever honestly because it's just so much fun but basically, um, Belinda and Omar here are like the most adorable couple ever, and I just love them. This is Omar. He, where I'm playing in Island Paradise World, and she met him in, when they were in high school, and he lived like his family lives in like one of these little houses over here, like the colorful houses. I think it's like this one. No, this one. Yeah, the Collins household, and so. They got married, they moved into a houseboat while they were teenagers, and they kind of just started their life together, and let's see, I think it was, I don't know, it might have been, let's see if I can find the houseboat, if it's still around. Is oh wait, I think this is it, ha, ah, here it is, yeah, somebody else, ooh, somebody bought it already, okay. Oh, and they have a dog, oh, oh it, they're just kidding, it's a cat, um, anyways, I, this is like the upgraded version of the house, like, and I had like a hot tub up here and stuff. But basically, this is where they lived when they were first, it's like their first house ever. They had 10 kids in this house, and then at that point, <laughs> they both got their inheritance. And they bought this bigger houseboat, which is like 15 by 10, which is much, much bigger. And um, it has like main floor, a stairs and a roof and then I also built like a basement for like activities and the children's room and stuff and yeah so generation generation 11 and oh also this is their daughter one of their children um Tara or not Tara uh, Tess sorry this is Tara but this is Tess and she had a fling with the university mascot, basically, Darren, and she had Theodore, and <laughs> Theodore is actually <laughs> perfect genetics. <laughs> he has the perfect genetics, and he's literally her first child she's ever had. Like, I wasn't even think, I wasn't even trying. I just wanted her to have like a fling, and oh my gosh, Tess had. The perfect genetics air generation 12. <laughs> but it doesn't count because she's not the heir, so. Darn it. <laughs> but I think that's so funny. Tara's still a child, and generation 12 is already here. But yeah, that's just. That's just, it's like when you're not even trying, you get the air. You know? It's just how it works. So, anyways, I t had him take a picture of Belinda because I want to have like pictures of the generations like starting from now, from generation ten. I want to try to take pictures of everyone. So he learned the photography skill. That's why he's got those wishes and stuff. But I want to have him go snorkeling, and basically, I've had Belinda and Omar snorkel like since like since they moved oh. out on their own. And her family, I don't know if they still live there. Oh, here it is. It was just invisible so I can see it. But, like, this is the first house I had on this world, Island Paradise. Um, I moved her whole family in when she was a child, and I built this place. And, um, basically, yeah, basically the family has lived here. I, don't, I, should, ha I should totally have her, like, visit her family. Because I think they're probably, like, all old, old now and stuff. They probably all still live there too. <laughs> oh, they're both dead, Catherine and Doyle. I f I didn't even realize. I haven't even pay been paying attention. But like Catherine was generation nine. Aw, darn it. 
But yeah, this is like the fi the kids that moved. This is the yeah, like not a lot of the kids moved because like the rest of them had already moved out, and this was the only kids that were left. They were like teenagers and children. So basically, there was Brian, Brent, and Belinda, Bella, and Brett left. And I named them all B names for that generation. I like to name them all like one letter for all their names. And uh, so Catherine had Belinda, and then Belinda had Tara, Timothy, Tasha, Thea, Tess, Toby, Tanya, Tara, Tanner, and Tammy. And I kind of continued the T with Tess, uh, Tess's little kid, Theodore. But yeah. And his dad is Darren, of course. But yeah, oh my gosh, they're so dead. They're dead. They're so dead. They're dead. I'm so sad. She's got six days, so she's an elder. I think that means he has like four days. Ooh, three days. Ooh, even less. But yeah, um, I was just playing this household, and I've just been enjoying, Tanu -wafu -tarni. enjoying it. Because they're adorable, and I just love this family so much. And I can't wait to get the next generation started, and get Tara moved out and you know see what her life will be um I would love I really want to finish their lifetime wishes though because I've never done these two before wow. basically her lifetime wish is a deep sea diver she wants to earn master the diving skill and earn, earn 40,000 simoleons from selling diving collectibles so what I've been having her do is go to diving spots and like collect treasure and stuff to get maps so that we can get all the islands because his island, his wish is to own all the Uncharted islands, which we own, I think, one right now. For some reason, I, I've already made, like, two maps. Like, this is the second map, or this is the second map he's made, but she's made a map, and it said that I can't discover any more through maps, so I'm not sure exactly how I can continue discovering islands. Um, I also you got I also got the lifetime wish that you know not the lifetime wish but the lifetime reward where they can um, discover an island. So I'm not sure what else I can do. I know there's something about like a message in a bottle. But I'm not sure entirely. Like how to discover the rest of the island. But I really want to I really want to finish their wishes. This is Bella. So, for some reason, she has a bad relationship with Brent. Ordnanzoi. Photo, you're my brother. You're also a celebrity, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit! Oh, 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 So, yeah, this is the house, and I built this house when they moved in. They have a pretty little piano. They have, like, all the amenities in the kitchen. Um, alchemy station, of course. Or, sorry, the potion table and the alchemy station, because she was a witch. Her mother was a witch. Yep. And her sister was the only witch that, like, her mom had. And it looks like they really need to do laundry. Do laundry. But, um, he, uh, her father Doyle was, did, or uh, made Leah their plumbot. And, yeah, let's see. Brett, you're like an adult or something, aren't you? Friendly introduction. Because apparently you don't know any of your brothers and sisters anymore. I haven't had them talk in forever, so I I'm kind of not surprised. But I'm just gonna have her uh, say hey to all. And I don't think that no, there's no upstairs. Yeah, it's just all one level. Ooh, this is a really pretty painting. I want to take it home with me. Yeah, the plumbot has the painting um, skill, and this. Right here was Belinda's room. Belinda. <laughs> Looks like Tara's still in school and Tess is still teaching Theodore. <laughs> so many T words going on right now. She wants to potty train. That's fine. And I sent all the other kids to boarding school because it was getting super hectic up in here. And there was like 10 days till they aged up and stuff, so I was like. I don't know. They all went to prom, so I was like, alright, everyone's gone to prom. Nothing more for them to do other than go to school. And I was like, alright, I'll keep Tess because she has baby coming. And I moved out Timothy because he aged up to another young adult. And I kept Tara because she's the heir and I want her to get like skills and stuff. But 
everybody else. I just sent him to boarding school and I just realized we still have a flamingo. And I thought I sold both flamingos. There were flamingos at this house when we moved in, so they kept getting kicked over and I was like, you know what, I don't, I don't need them. <laughs> oh, I also have pictures from whenever Belinda first went diving. She has a what underwater. What is that noise? <gasps> it's the Kraken! It's the Kraken! Ah. That is so cool. That's like the coolest thing ever. It's so huge and it's so scary. I want to fish for the Kraken. <laughs> I wish they would like get attacked or something. That would be cool. Alright, child is in bed. Perfect. I'm gonna go to sleep. Don't worry about it anymore. Sweet. He's finding lots of shells. And basically I'm having him just give his wife the shells. Because she's the one who will benefit from selling them. And every time I sell one of these kind of things, it goes towards her 40,000. I really doubt I'm gonna get it before she dies. But I can always try. Because, like, mostly when we go underwater and stuff we get like all these um we get like all kinds of like treasure and stuff but we don't really oops we don't really get shells from um we don't really get shells from diving underwater there's no like it's really hard to find the shells so before she goes home i really wanted her to not send them to school um go to the plaza and I want you to sell your baked goods. Because baked good goods. Good good goods goods. I can't talk, I guess. And there's lots of people at this park right now, so I think you might get some business. <laughs> shim shim. Talk baked goods. <laughs> Price for all goods. Two, two, and two. Wow. She's gonna start cheap. Oh, we've got all kinds of variety. People, come and buy things. And time to get a picture of the child. Because she's adorable. But yeah, I am gonna end this here. And thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back soon with some more perfect genetics. I've been really working a lot lately and I just been so just tired and I just want to relax when I get home. So I haven't been recording. But I have another pre-recorded part I haven't uploaded that I did like a month ago or something. And I'm then going to have some more perfect genetics coming along hopefully very soon. And I uh, hope you guys have a good day. Goodbye.